Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well. And I'm so excited for today's video because we're at one of my very favorite thrift stores to come to. So I'm really excited to walk in there and check out the new rags. I can literally see them through the window and I'm about to lose my mind. Almost just literally jumped out of the car to walk in. And I was like, wait a second, I've got to film an intro. Um, but that's what it'll do. The thrifting, the rush will really get to you. So I'm gonna take you guys in with me and we'll see what we can find today to resell on places like Posh Mark, eBay, Mercari, Depop, things like that. So I'm really looking for some nice brands today, but also looking for some good styles for summer. So let's see what I can find today. Of course, you guys are coming with me. Let's go in and see what we can find. <laughs> So, looking through that new rack, and oh my gosh, so excited to find this. I just sold my last piece of that brand. And honestly, this isn't bad either, but I think it's just too wintry. So I was just looking at these clothing, and then I looked up and I saw on the shoe rack, I found this little pair of gold. Really Pulitzer, which is great. Next to it, I saw these shoes, which are kind of interesting looking. And I'd never heard this brand. It says Miss Owlfire. But the reason why it caught my eye is because, well, it's a gold filigree right there. But it also says Made in England. And Made in England shoes are usually really good. And look those up in the comps are crazy. So glad I stopped and looked at those. Now I'm like looking at all the shoes. I just got so excited. I'm not even to it yet, but I just saw this dress. I wasn't gonna look at it even, but like, oh my gosh, behind it. And it is beautiful. It's a Shoshana. Great brand, $7.99. Oh yeah, yes please. I literally heard of this brand for the first time today. Kuru, K-U-R-U. -U. Somebody else was literally just telling me that these are good for people with um, like heel pain. So I looked them up. They are all, unfortunately, they're all $10. So I'm gonna leave them behind, but the resale was really good for like about 50 bucks each. For $10, I just don't know. I guess it would be $30 into 150. Minus taxes and fees and all that, but I don't know. I'm on the fence. I found so many other things. I just don't know if it's worth it So these are cute 
They're $7.99, so $8. I'll look up comps. I just don't know, because they do have some wear on one of them right here. Some frayed strings and a little bit of wear on the inside, so I don't know. I'm on the edge. I love this brand, but their sneakers don't do as well as their boots, so I don't know. I think I'm going to put them back. So right here in a row, I found all these jeans that are good but have a lot of wear or just aren't going to do it. So like you can see the pulling here at the garage. These are kind of cute, but I've sold this before. It's the older Pilker on the letter press tag, so it's from Anthropology, but it's a small size and it's a hyphen fit. And I don't know if this tearing is intentional where it is. I don't love the color for like now. And Pistola, these are cute, but this is also an older tag from them. So I don't know if that's worth it either, especially in such a small size. So they just, somebody donated a lot of cute pairs of pants all right next to them. Those are really cute. They're just, or maybe, but I might look them up because the balloon is really cute. So I just added this Adriana Papel sequin and beaded dress to my pile. It's actually in the same size that my mother-in-law needs and she's getting married this summer. So I'm asking her if she wants that. But then right after it is this beautiful little dress. But I got so jazzed, guys. This is a good, this is a good haul. Let's see if you can see it. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I've ever found this brand before. Um, but obviously I'm excited. Want to know what this colorful thing is behind it too. It looks like fun. That's exciting. Is there a little hole? Maybe starting? I don't know. We'll look into it. This feels cheap, but it's pretty. Story of my life. I had to show this. It's a beautiful handmade dress. It's got even like layers of tool in there. It's so beautiful. It does have major pit stains, but she's beautiful. So I thought for sure that I was going to get this. It is a gorgeous little beaded sheer mesh black dress. And it's from Carl Lagerfeld. But all the comps are terrible. This is Carl Lagerfeld for $7.99, but also, I don't know. That's going to go in the maybes now. Okay, friends, we're back home. And I definitely found some amazing pieces. I love thrifting at this thrift store and this is actually i went on two different days i have two different receipts here i added everything up one day i spent 105 dollars and six cents the other day i spent 123 dollars and 94 cents <laughs> so i spent quite a bit of money and then i did the cost of goods i figured all of that out and so my cost of goods per item is right around four dollars and 77 cents so we're looking at just under five dollars per item on the whole because I always get some sort of discount like 10% off if you spend over 20 bucks or something I don't know we have some things going on so four dollars and 77 cents per item is awesome especially when I found so many great pieces that should resell online for over 50 bucks I love that so let's start with something I found on the new rack because this is so cute I found two pairs of Madewell jeans and they are a newer style look how adorable the pockets on this are they're so cute. All jeans usually are $7.99 at my store. And these are the perfect vintage wide leg jean in a size 30, which is a great size. And also anything that has the vintage in the title for a Madewell jean usually does pretty well for me. And they also look and feel brand new. Like they don't even look like they've ever been worn or washed. They feel so great. Those are so cute. And I've been selling a lot of Madewell jeans lately. So those I'm sure I can list for around 50 bucks and they'll probably sell for right around 50 bucks, which is awesome. And then on the same new rack, I found this pair as well. So donated by the same person for sure is my guess. They have a flare down here at the bottom. They're a gorgeous pair of black jeans, which are very classy and everybody needs a pair in their wardrobe. And this is the perfect vintage flare jean. Also, oh no, this one's a size 29. So my guess is they came from the same person and they also look like they're a newer style, which is so nice. And this one also has in here the remove before wearing little tag. So I do feel like these are both brand spanking new. So I'll probably even mark them as new without tags because they don't look or feel worn at all. Really fun pair of flare jeans and should sell for at least 50 bucks for both of those. So right away I spent around $220 with just those two pairs of jeans. We were looking at almost $100 hopefully in sales price. So we're doing pretty good and I have literally like almost 50 items here. So 
50 items of goodness. I'm super excited about it. This is so exciting. I can't remember. This is, so this is a red tag. I'm assuming the red tags must have been the color that was being put out that day because I found so many good red pieces. This, I believe I found this in the dress section or something. I don't know. This piece is stunning. And I bet people didn't look at it because it's kind of a hard, you know, neckline to unfold and see what the tag is. But this is a beautiful, nice little sweater. It has a gorgeous knit to it. And y'all, I was so excited because I don't know if I've ever found this brand before, at least not a piece that was worth picking up. I think I found like a light t-shirt once, but I did find All Saints, which is really exciting for me. And this is in a size medium, good size for All Saints. And on the bottom here, it actually tells me too what the name of this piece is. And this is called the Ridley Jumper, which is a good style from them. Like it's a popular piece and I think gray is a good color. So I'm pretty happy with this overall. The Ridley Jumper, and this was a 2020 style, so it's not that old, but that also it is made with 94% wool and 6% cashmere. So it's a really nice sweater. I saw that there was a little mark here on the front right here and right here. You can't probably see in the camera, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I can get that out. So I'm gonna do a little scrubbing. It's probably a dry clean only piece, so I'll just be doing a little like hand washing of that spot but the comps were really good for ridley jumpers that sweater i saw a lot of pieces really similar or in similar colors selling for around 90 dollars. so even if i would get like 60 75 for that i think that would be awesome and then we have this really cute pair of little brown leather sandals they literally look like they've never been worn they look really good this writing on here is from the goodwill i don't love that they write with sharpie on the bottom of the shoes but what can you do? This is a pair of Madewell little sandals. And I sold a lot of Madewell shoes for good money. And these were $5.99, which is, I believe, one of the cheapest shoe prices that they do if it's not a like kid's shoe. So pretty happy with that. And these are in a size six, so a women's size six, and they are real leather. So I thought those were really nice, especially for the season that we're in. Those are gorgeous, and somebody is gonna absolutely love them. If they were my size, I would love them. So Hopefully somebody else will too. And then these are a really fun find. I love wearing, buying, selling, all of the above. I love it all. I love Hoka's. Hoka's are a really nice shoe and they've become really popular lately. I think even if I do a little bit of light scrubbing with a toothbrush and some soapy water on the sides here where it's white, I think they're gonna clean up really nice. And these are a really popular style from Hoka. They're the Hoka Bondi 8s and so um, love that. I literally, I bought myself a pair of Hoka Bondi 8s on Poshmark. I think I paid like 60 or 70 bucks for mine. So I know that this is a good style and it's sought after because this is like one of the cushiest, chunkiest shoes that they make. And so these are really good for people with foot pain or do a lot of walking, things like that. And these are a really cute colorway with the blue and the purple. Aren't those so fun? I was really happy to find those. And these are in a size nine and a half which is awesome and also um, probably could fit me actually the more I think about it, maybe I should try them on. Um, but those are really cute and really fun. So was happy to find those. And for my average cost of goods of $4 and 77 cents, like where else are you gonna find a pair of Hoka's for $4? Like nowhere but the thrift for sure. Okay, and then we have this dress, which I was really excited to find. Look at all the ruffles going on. This blue is so popular for spring. I think it's so pretty. It's got all this adorable ruffling and then up close it is a nice little floral pattern. This is really cute and this is a dress brand that I've talked about before but I don't often find. I think I've only found it twice and this is a good style and it's from the brand Shoshana which makes expensive dresses. This is in a size six and this I believe is also 100% silk. It's really pretty. It's a really nice dress. And I do think this is perfect timing. This is the time I need to get this up and listed. I definitely need to be working on this. Yep, 100% silk chiffon for the outside. Lovely, lovely little dress. I think it's so pretty. And hopefully it's going to do really well. I know that in the past when I was doing looking up comps for Shoshana, a lot of dresses were selling for $100 and I haven't looked it up in a while. When I saw it and it was $7, I knew I was gonna grab it. It's beautiful, it's silk. Um, so I'll look up some more comps, but I would say hopefully at least 50 bucks for that Shoshana dress. Gorgeous piece. Love that so much. And then I stumbled upon, this never really happens to me, um, but I stumbled upon like four or five pieces all together that were donated by, I'm assuming the same person, 
in my size and I was like wow like maybe I need to try on some of these pieces and maybe keep some they're really pretty this first one is this little wrap velour ribbed blouse from Madewell which Madewell I haven't been picking up a lot of just normal pieces to resell but I do pick up their jeans this was a $4.99 little blouse I thought the color was beautiful and it's a beautiful fall wintry piece I bet it could look cute for the spring so I'm gonna try that on if it fits me I'll keep it same thing with this sweater which I think is so cute it reminds me of the Varley sweaters and anything with that big zipper for the front I think is so cute I do think I love wearing brown and so I'm hoping that this looks good on me but this is also from Mark New York which is a good brand like mark is a nice brand it had this dry cleaning tag still on it so this isn't a size xl so i'm gonna try this on too and i really like that one so i hope that that works out for me and then this i feel like i'm probably going to sell because i don't think i'll wear it but it is a really pretty little navy blue with red kind of piping along the outside and this is a beautiful gorgeous sweater from everlane which um i've left some everlane behind lately but this is 100% cashmere. So cashmere, extra large, Everlane sweater, no holes, beautiful piece. I love that. Maybe I'll wear it for a little bit and then sell it, but I feel like that could sell for around $50. Cashmere in general, great pickup, no matter the situation. And then here I did a little bit of sleuthing. So I found this dress and I felt it and I said, that feels nice, but there's no tag on the inside. There's no brand tag, but I could just tell that it was pretty high quality. So it's a blue and orange striped little t-shirt dress. It's really cute. But I did a little bit more sleuthing by going to the bottom here. And I'm glad I did because it is a Tory Burch piece. And there's no way I can show this to you really. It's gonna be really tiny, but basically at the very bottom, it says that it's a cooperative from Tory Burch and it gives the toybirch.eu as the website. So happy with that. I don't have a size on this, but from looking at this, I think it looks like a size large, which would be a great size. And it's really beautiful, well-made. I don't know why you would take off the Tory Burch tag. I feel like that is a helpful thing to, to leave on, unless it was itchy or something, but I found a Tory Burch dress. I thought that was pretty exciting. I was jazzed about that. And then again, I found some really cute sandals and I'm glad I did because heading into the season, I'm happy to be adding that kind of stuff into my store. These are so stunning. I love the style of these. This little brown leather with some white coming around the top and white kind of platform sandals. These are beautiful. And these are in a European size 38. They were $5.99 and they are from Rag and Bone. <laughs> so Rag and Bone, I've been passing along a lot of their jeans and things like that, but I believe that these shoes should do well, especially because we're in the correct season for them. I think based off of how cute they are and how well made, I'm hoping to get 50 bucks for these. I'll do some more looking into it, but for a really modern looking pair of sandals in brown leather in a really good brand, I think these should be good. So for five bucks, I was not gonna leave them behind. So then let's talk about these two pairs of shoes. I think I got footage of me finding these as well. So these ones caught my eye and then next to them were also this pair of gold strappy heels. And these are Lily Pulitzer, which Lily Pulitzer shoes, I don't know if I've had very much luck with in the past, but I was willing to give these a try for $5.99. They're a really strappy gold metallic heel. These would be great for prom season. And these are in a size eight and they're made with real leather. So. Those were a fun pickup, again, really on point for the season. And then these were kind of the sleeper, the shocker, that I grabbed these because they reminded me of the brand Irregular Choice, and they make heels that can sell for tons of money, and I've sold those before. These are from the brand Miss L Fire, which I had never heard of, but the comps were really good, like right around the same price as an Irregular Choice, so like maybe 75 to to $100 for a pair of shoes, which to me seems a little crazy, but they are really cutesy. Like I think these really would be great for somebody interested in like vintage fashion for sure. They're a European size 37, which I believe is probably close to like a size six or seven. So they're really cute though. I think these are really interesting. I think somebody's gonna love those. So again, hopefully good profit from that. And then I was kind of going back and forth on these, but I decided to pick them up. I might just put them in a, my whatnot show or something. They're a pair of Kate Spade little flip-flops, which are really cute. They have the bow on them. They have a little bit of wear just over here at the end where the heel rests, but these were $1.99. So like, 
two bucks, one dollar per, per shoe. I thought for Kate Spade was pretty good actually. And they also have the little Kate Spade charm hanging off there on the end, a little spade. I thought those were really cute. So that's what they look like. The bottoms still look like they're in great shape. And these are a size nine to 10. So I think these are really cute. They're really nice. Maybe I'll keep them for when I go to like the pool or something. Cause that is my size, but they're really cute. Then I have so much guys. I have 50 items today, 50 items. So good. This I'm so excited about. This was on a new rack and I have only found this brand once before and it ended up having holes in it. This is another smart wool piece. You can see the smart wool little guy on the back here. This is a gorgeous little pullover with a quarter zip. It's a men's size medium made in Hong Kong. Feels really nice. Definitely has wool in it. Smart wool makes sense. So it's 100% merino wool. Awesome brand. Never sold it before. So I'm super excited to give it a go. This was only $4.99 very excited about this and from what i have heard about the brand i'm hoping this will sell for around 50 dollars. and then also from that same new rack this is so cute look at these little pants these little culotte shorts aren't these so fun they're a beautiful bright fuchsia kind of pinkish purple color they feel velvety they're so nice and from a great brand that i love selling avec les filles is a beautiful brand. It's sold often at Anthropology, but it's very expensive. And I've, I've sold this brand a few times for really good money. So I was happy to find this really fun pair of shorts. I feel like these would be perfect for spring and summer. These were $4.99 and I just thought these were so unique and so fun. Like I love that. I think it's gonna be so cute on somebody. So I love that. Have a lot of spring pieces, super cute. Another really beautiful color on this piece. This is a beautiful kind of poplin textured blouse. It has a little bit of a puff sleeve. We've got this nice crinkled material and a little ruffle as well. And this is an amazing brand as well. Zyrena, which I have found in the bins now, what, once, and I found a shirt at the same Goodwill once before. Both pieces sold for over $60 really really good brand to know size small this brand is sold at revolve as well as sometimes i think they sell it at anthropology but it's also sold on its own and it's 4.99 i got it and i'm thinking this should probably also sell for around that 50 dollar amount and just like the details on it are so cute this color is everything really adorable piece i'm sure i'll look and find the actual style name adorbs <laughs> then i found these three pieces I'm thinking for Jeremy, but if he doesn't like them, then they'll go up on the, the sites, you know? We have a little Everlane polo shirt. It's a nice little gray color. It was $4.99. We also have, I think this is really nice, this navy blue Lacoste polo. I found this for also $4.99. Like, isn't that really beautiful? Like, it, sometimes I find Lacoste and it has been worn to death. This looks like it's in great shape. That I would probably pick up just to resell on its own, even if it wasn't for Jeremy. And then same thing with this one. This is a gorgeous L.L. Bean, little sweater, quarters at pullover. But let me give you some up close of that texture. It's this gorgeous blue color and it's 100% cashmere. Jeremy is a spoiled man, guys. <laughs> it's made in Hong Kong, so it might be vintage. It's 100% cashmere, the men's size large. It's a really beautiful, beautiful blue. And it was $4.99 for 100% cashmere. That's two 100% cashmere pieces I found, plus 100% wool. Like you can find so many great things thrifting, guys. Ah, so good. Okay, then I also found this in the men's section. It is a little sweater here, and this is from the brand Barbour, which I have sold quite a few outerwear pieces from them, and they've done really well. I this is my first time ever finding just a like sweater, but the comps were great. Like a lot of them were selling for around 40, 50 bucks. And so when I'm thrifting at a normal Goodwill, not at the bins, I'm hoping to pick up things that will sell for right around $50. And this also gives me the style name. It's 100% Pima Cotton. It's a nice sweater. So I think that should do well. And then look at this vintage piece that I found. This is absolutely stunning. It is this amazing, beautiful little lingerie piece, but it's vintage. It has the most beautiful floral details, and then it has this yellowy, creamish color for the ribbons that tie at the sleeves as well. Super beautiful. It's Vintage Victoria's Secret, which can do really well. This is what the tag looks like. It's all see-through other than the bust, and I just thought it was stunning. It was only $3.99, so I was happy with that. 
and this is in a size medium. It's 100% polyester and it's definitely a beautiful piece. I could see somebody wearing this just as a top even, like it's really pretty. And then let's talk about some of the swimwear I got. This is really exciting. I wanted to find some swimwear, you know, we're heading into the correct season for it. This is a really cute little swim romper, I think. Like, doesn't it look like a swim romper? It definitely has shorts attached. It's a one piece and this is from Magic Suit. So Magic Suit, I believe is owned by Miracle Suit. I think they're part of the same company, but Miracle Suit, I'm always on the lookout for. Magic Suit also should do pretty well. I don't see a size tag, which is so unfortunate, but we'll do a little guesswork. We'll do some measuring. It was only $1.99. <laughs> so to find a beautiful one piece black swimsuit for $1.99 is such a steal. And then next to it was all of these swim bottoms. I left some behind, but I had to pick up quite a few of these. This is a Miracle Suit skirt, so a swim skirt. Miracle Suit, good swimwear brand to know. If you guys haven't watched my swimwear brand list, you should definitely watch it before we head into spring, before we head into summer and swimsuit season. I believe this is a size 16, and that's what it looks like, a little swim skirt. We've got the built-in underwear in there as well for extra comfort, love it. And then next to that was this Miracle Suit by Talbot's collab little bottom as well. So I looked these up and they were selling pretty well. This is a size 16 and, oh, does it tell me what it is? Skirt and pant together. Oh, nice. So another little swim skirt, size 16. This one has that little slit over there. Really nice, maybe around $40 for that. And then the last one I got was also Miracle Suit by Talbot's. And there were other ones there that were just Talbot's, but I decided the ones that were a collab were probably going to be worth more money. This is also a size 16. It's a beautiful little blue swim skirt. The same one as the other one, just in blue. So if I get 40 or 35 for each of those, that would be awesome. And then again, my first time finding this piece as well. Pretty jazzed about finding Philip Lim. Have not found that ever before. I think maybe I've seen a collab with Target, but I've not found it myself. It's this beautiful navy blue, white, and tan color block dress and it is in a size 8 and it was $7.99 with my average cost of goods being $4.77. It feels like it's got to be silk or something really nice. Main body, yep, it's 100% silk. So it's a really beautiful piece. I'm excited to get that listed. I think that should do well. Another really cute pair of little heels. These are beautiful. Look at that chunky stacked heel on these and then we also have calf hair for this kind of fun print here and across here. It also has a little ankle strap in real leather, and these are also from Madewell. So a pair of Madewell leather sandal heels. They're so cute, and also look at how the heel is made. It's really beautiful. These are a size six and a half, and they were $5.99, but I do think, again, I've done really well with Madewell's leather shoes. I was happy to pick those up for five bucks, heck yeah. And then I also picked up this pair of sandals. These are from Dansko, and as you guys know, I really do love to sell Danskos. These were $6.99 and they are a European size 40, which I believe is a size nine. They look like they've never been worn. Like they look like they're in great shape. You don't see any wear from the feet. You don't see any toe marks or anything like that. So really nice pair of little heels and they should be comfortable as well, which we love. As then I, I only have a couple more pairs of shoes. I'm a shoe gal. I really love to pick up shoes. Um, but these are really beautiful. These are a black suede little slip on with this white fluffy interior. And these are from Vince, which Vince shoes are so expensive and they have been doing pretty well for me actually. So Vince, they're a nice slip on and these cost me $5.99, which is awesome. And they're in a women's size nine. Awesome size. They should hopefully sell for 35 to 50 bucks. That's my hope and guess. Now a really nice men's piece is this pair of pants. These are from the brand Flint and Tinder. This is my second time finding this brand. The first pair sold for $40, I think on eBay. This is a nice little kind of more khaki colored pair of pants. I think the last one I had was the same pant, but like a dark blue. So I'm pretty happy with these. They're the slim fit and they're a 33 by 34. So should do really well. I'm assuming somewhere around 30 to 40 bucks for those. And that's a really nice men's brand to know if you don't already know it. Then we have a pair of anthropology pants. These are the anthropology, the essential slim 
in a US size 14, awesome size. And we have this kind of like faux leather detailing at the pockets. They feel really nice. They're thick, they're luxe, they're stretchy, which, you know, is gonna be nice for comfort levels at least. And they were also $4.99. I looked up this to figure out what the comps might be. I didn't wanna pick it up if it was gonna be, you know, like a $20 sale, but a lot of them were selling for around 35 to 50. So for $4, heck yeah. And then I literally was about to leave the store and then I saw this color poking out and is this not such a beautiful blue color? It is stunning. It's got this little kind of clip dot texture along the whole thing. We have this beautiful sleeve, so nice. And that little tie at the neckline and then it's kind of like a little scoopy U shape for the neck, but this is from Free People. It's in a size large which I love. I'm like, I'm gonna try this on <laughs> for sure. But free people, some free people I don't pick up, but I do feel like this is such a cute style for spring and summer. Like imagine this tucked into like a little white tennis skirt. It could be really cute. It was $4.99. I hope it fits me. I think it's really adorable. And then I also picked this up perhaps for myself. We'll see. This is a tube top and I have never really had a tube top, but you know what? There's a first time for everything. It's a really pretty little white ribbed tube top number and it's from Anthropology. So it's just the Anthropology itself. It's tag, it's an extra large, it's a little white top and it's really nice, great condition. It was $3.99. So add that to the pile of things for me to try on, but super cute as well as this pair of pink Nike shorts. I thought these were really fun. They feel sweet, they feel soft and the Nike hit is right over here. So I thought those were fun and these are in a plus size. So I grabbed these, they're $4.99 and they're in a size 3X. So I thought those would be really cute for somebody and they have pockets, love Nike, love selling it and love wearing it. Wow, I had so much here, <laughs> this is crazy. You guys wanna see my home goods I picked up too? I'm gonna show you. Um, I know I'm really into like interior design so this might not be as exciting for other people but I love it. Hi Fluff Ball. So this vase I bought for $5.99, you like it Otis? And I just thought it was a fun little color blocked vase. I like the neutral colors. That's a large vase too and to find a large vase for five bucks I think is a great steal. I also got this small little vase for maybe just like one bud or so but I liked how it was structured and it looks like it was actually blown glass which I think is really special. So I grabbed that and that was 99 cents. And then I also found this croc, which I think is so beautiful. I love the blue color going throughout it. I love that it's kind of distressed. It's more like used looking. It's very nice. And I would say somebody with like a primitive style kitchen would love this. And this was $2.99. So I thought for three bucks, heck yeah, that's awesome. And like, look at the bottom. You can tell that somebody made this. It's beautiful. I love it. And then maybe even my favorite piece I saved for last. This is so beautiful. I'm excited to put this maybe in my bathroom, um, but this is a gorgeous little like silver. It almost looks like, it could be real silver, I don't know. It looks like it might be a real silver, I'm not sure. It's something tarnished for sure, but it's a gorgeous little shell trinket dish. I love this, look, you open it. <gasps> Isn't that fun? Like I love how unique this is and I think it's really pretty. And this was $1.99. Shut up, right? I love that. I think it's so beautiful. And then back into clothing, I picked up this dress, which I don't always pick up the brand Velvet by Graham and Spencer. I've been finding it more and more lately. I wonder where it's sold because I find it here in Indianapolis more than I've ever seen it anywhere else. But it's this beautiful pink v-neck dress with ruffles and tears. And I was going back and forth on this because I don't have a lot of experience with this brand. But the comps, I saw this exact dress sell this month on eBay and it sold for like $60. So I was like, huh, so maybe it is a good pickup. It was $7.99, but again, my average cost of goods was $4.77. So if I can sell that for 40 bucks, I think that would be great. And then another new to me brand is this pair of really beautiful navy blue wide leg pants. Aren't those fun? And again, really nice and lightweight for the season. This is from the brand Elk, which I had never heard of, but the comps are really good. Elk in a US size eight. These look like they should hopefully sell for 35 to 50 bucks. They were 
They're really beautiful. They have pockets. And it looks like Elka is an Australian brand, which I think is so interesting. I've been finding a lot of Australian pieces. I wonder if it's a Revolve piece, but they're really cute. They're a really nice pair of pants. We got the stretchy waistband. I think they're fabulous. So hopefully we make some good money off of those. And then I grabbed, oh my gosh, there's more. Holy monkeys, okay. And then we have this Athleta little white sweatshirt. This felt so nice. I've been passing on a lot of Athleta because I find so much of it, but this one was in great shape. It's from Athleta, it's in a size large. It was $5.99 and it has all these amazing details. Like it looks really luxe. And I did find the exact stock photo and the name of this and the comps for this particular jacket were really nice. So I think this should sell for around 50 bucks. And then we have a Madewell dress. So Madewell size extra large little chambray dress and chambray dresses do really well for me, especially in the spring and summer. So I thought that was really pretty Madewell. I have the stock photos of it. I have the name of the dress because Madewell makes it so easy to find their listings. But yeah, that's what she looks like. And I paid $7.99 for that as well. And then I took a gamble on two pairs of shoes. These are Allbirds and Allbirds haven't really been selling for me lately, but this style had really good comps and they seem to be selling better and for more money. So these are a navy blue pair of Allbirds. They are slip on style. They look like they're in great condition. I'll show you the bottom here as well. So they look like they're really nice and these are a men's size 10. So I thought even if my husband wants to wear them, he could but they're really nice. And the comps for these for men's sizing were around 35 to $50. So I grab those puppies as well as this one that I'm going to be more taking a chance on my first time trying to sell it. And it's the brand Fury Rabutin, Rabutin. Um, if I'm butchering that, I'm sure I am. <laughs> Let me know. But that's what the brand looks like. The comps look pretty good. These are a European size 40 made in Italy. So size nine, a little peep toe, kind of vintage style little heels. And so I thought I'd go to go for five bucks. We'll see how those do. But again, the comps looked really good. It's just my first time selling it. So I can't really give you my opinion yet on if it's good or not. And then this piece I grabbed mostly for my mother-in-law. I feel like she's gonna like it. It's from Anthropology. It's the Saturday Sunday brand, but it's this really fun little printed floral top. And it was the new color and it was $4.99. And I thought that was really pretty. I bet I could also resell it for maybe $25, $35. Then this was a style based pickup, which I don't do a ton of because I really do find that brands sell well for me. But I think this will be really fun for someone. It is this really cool, really fun kind of wrap style for the bodice, interesting colored dress, very Y2K styled. I can totally see somebody on Friends wearing this really fun dress, really interesting colors. If you guys have any input or keywords or anything you'd like to share with me about this dress, I would love and appreciate any help. It's just from the brand Studio 1940. It's in a size 12, so it's a great size. It's a really fun piece, and I feel like this would make such a great like wedding guest dress. It's so fun. The color scheme is so vibrant, and so I grabbed that. <laughs> I usually wouldn't, but I did today. So yeah, those were all of the pieces. That was 50 items. That was a big haul, and um, like hauling all of those things makes me just want to go to that thrift store even more. Like now, I want to go again. <laughs> it was such a good two days of thrifting. I had my mom there with me for one of the days. And then the other day, I just, I mean, I just found so many good brands and things that you would never expect to be able to find. So I'm really pleased with everything. Let me know down below what your favorite piece is that I found. I'm really excited about all the fun, beautiful, like bohemian colors and the spring and summer just pieces that I did find. I think those are really cute. So let me know what you thought. And also, if you guys enjoyed this video at all, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you can see more videos just like it. And also hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.